What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rick's Picks, where I choose my favorite in-stock products. And this week, we're talking 510 Trail Cross shoes. We're mixing it up a little bit this week, and I'm enlisting the help of the one and only Doug from behind the camera to help us out with this review. Doug. Hey, hey, hey look at this guy. Look at, it, look at me. So, Doug, yeah. you got two pairs of these shoes. Two, yeah. Why two? Well, it was time for a new pair of shoes, summer 2021 my feet were hurting and i said i want to try these trail cross xt's out and they were great super breathable super grippy super styly and they have this cool little neoprene cuff on there that keeps dirt and stuff out so all right i was very happy happy little camper so why'd you get a second pair well let me tell you and you uh gore-tex love that stuff these Big, guys yeah look at these hogs um Winter months are approaching, it's getting wet, we live in Bellingham, it rains a lot, and I said, I want to try something that'll also keep the water out, because the XTs were great, but they were super meshy, and I was worried that I was going to get my feet wet. So, picked up the Gore-Tex ones. All right, Doug. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you got some first-hand experience with these Gore-Tex ones already? I do. I do have some first-hand experience, and I'm going to share it with you. All right, Doug, paint me a picture. So there I am, Whistler Bike Park. Sick day of riding A-line with the bros. And I'm there at the bike wash. I got a three hour drive home. So, you know, it was kind of dry that day, not too many puddles. And I'm wearing my Gore-Tex shoes. So obviously my feet are dry and I'm washing my, my bike. I'm all stoked. I'm like, yeah, I got to drive home, sweet. And then I back up and I step in about a two to three inch puddle. Devastating, right? Normally shoes soaked, bummed, not stoked. Uh, so there I am kind of in distraught and you know, disarray. And later I pull my foot out of my shoe, dry as a bean. Wow, Doug, that was quite the picture you painted there. It was... I feel like I was there with you. Yeah, it was really an emotional roller coaster. Um, and I'm glad to say that the Gore-Tex really, really works. Man, now I can see why you'd have two pairs of these shoes. Yeah. Uh, one thing to note though, uh, when I had these two pairs of same size shoes made by the same company, um, I'm a seven and a half across the board. So the Trail Cross XT's got that seven and a half, fit great. And then I just kind of bought the seven and a half Gore-Tex ones thinking they'd fit the same, but they actually are a little bit bigger. So uh, I just wear a little bit of a thicker sock and it kind of alleviates that issue. So yeah, take note when you're purchasing the, the Gore-Tex ones. All right, yeah. good to remember. Yeah. Doug, I'm really glad that I know why you have two pairs of these shoes. And both of yeah. them get the Rick's Picks approval. And I think they get the Doug's Pick approval as well. Diggle's Picks. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.